Go live. Cool. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. Uh, we are Bosch. I'm Henry. That's Ian. Hello. And we are live with you once more. This is Bosch Live. This is our kitchen. We're on quarantine lockdown, so we're cooking with all of you. And today, we're cooking something super special, aren't we, Ian? What are we cooking? Oh my goodness gracious, we have a wonderful dish for you today. And it is from our first cookbook, Bosch. It's something quite crazy. We were initially going to call it Tatties with Hatties, but we decided against that name. What did we call it in the end? We called it Shepherd's Potato. And if we can roll to camera three, that's what it looks like. Oh, oh isn't yeah. that nice? That looks good. As you can see, it's a potato with a little hat. It's kind of like a shepherd's pie in a potato. Is which it? genius. Do you know what it is? Not only does it look cool, not only is it really good to cook with kids, it's absolutely delicious, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous, and this is what we're aiming for. So if you can feast your eyes on this little beauty, you will see. We have a jacket potato, we have a chilli filling, and we have a little mashed potato topper on top, which is kind of silly, but it's fun. Yes, it is. It's very, very fun. It really, honestly, is amazingly fun. It's really, really tasty. It's going to be great. This is the kind of food you would want to cook with kids. Um, this this Sorry. is the kind of food you would want to cook with kids. We are, of course, live. This is new for us, so bear, bear with us as we uh, roll mm. and show you how to cook this really quickly. Now, if you're cooking along at home, if you are cooking long at home, you want to get a potato in the oven now. That's going to be the first thing. We're going to run through this pretty quickly, but don't worry if you're a little bit behind us. You can just pause that stream. Check this out. Oh my goodness gracious. I think we should have producer Kat with us as well. Yes. Uh, good. She's here. That's good. <laughs> so hello Kat. This is good to see you. Look at that. Look at that top shot. How cool is that? So Henry, what have we got there on that board in front of us? Okay, so our ingredients are, drum roll please. We have Ta two potatoes. Two oil. potatoes. We have garlic, of course, some oil. Now we have what we call the holy trinity. We have carrots, onions and celery. We've got some mushrooms. They're going to form a mushroom mint. Mm -hmm. We like to do that. We've got some thyme, we've got some rosemary, we've got some poi lentils that we have pre-cooked, we have some tomato puree, whole grain mustard, and some soy sauce and vegetable stock. Now that sounds like a lot of ingredients, but don't worry that every single one of them is very, very necessary. I can tell you right now, it's delicious. If you're wondering how you can cook along with us and you haven't already got these in front of you, uh, you can hit boss.tv, we already put these ingredients out, so we'll be doing that again all of next week, all of the week after, and all of April as we're cooking Bosch Live. Cool. So, first things first, we're gonna take our two potatoes, just give them a little bit of oil. These have already been pre-microwaved for about 10, 15 minutes. This oil is just gonna help them to brown on the outside and give them a bit nice crispiness, a bit more flavor. Pinch of salt. That's a good pinch, that is. Touch of pepper, and yeah. they're gonna go in the oven for about 50 minutes, 40, 50 minutes. Very good. Can I do the honours? Yeah, I can do the honours. These are going into the oven here. Now, we microwaved them just before for like 10 minutes, and now they're going in for, what do you say, 50 minutes? Yeah, 50 minutes will do. Sweet! Very, very good indeed. Boom. So if you're cooking with us, get yours in right now. Now, everyone has a different style of cooking, I find. Mm -hmm. Ian and I, we're like, we're housemates, we live together, we work together, we set up Bosch together. And even we have different styles, despite the fact we live together and cook together. So Ian is slow and methodical. If you tuned in yesterday, you will have seen his super attentive, speedy chopping. Now I am gonna show you how to use this blender to whiz through this recipe. Are you ready? I'm ready, I hope you guys are ready too. Uh, I'm gonna whip round and get the camera focused on that blender, because <laughs> the blender is taking centre stage right now. Check this out. Good plan. So, first up, I'll just switch that camera back. <laughs> first up, we are gonna go in with some carrots. I'm gonna give them a tiny little pre-blend. Not really necessary, um, but I'll do it anyway. So, there we pulse, go. Just to reduce the size of them. And then I'm gonna add an onion, a stick of celery, which we've kind of quartered, and I'm gonna go mad and add a few halved bulbs of garlic. And I'm just going to whiz that, and this is basically taking the place of finely chopping everything. <laughs> Ready? Here we go, three, two, one. 
Look at that. This is saving time. It's amazing. Yeah. I do find when you blitz like that, it feels like a bit of a magic trick. And you you get like, I think the word is homogeneity. Hom homogeneity? What kind of word is that? Word? Let know. us know in the comments if that is an actual word. Homogeneity as in everything is basically... Oh, I'm down here, yeah. aren't I? Sorry, it, oh, yeah, I've got it over there. Old no, oh, 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 to the right, to the right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. There, there we, we go. go, that's the one. So everything is basically the same size. Um, so into our frying pan that is going to go. Get that heat on. So, um, uh, Henry, we've got some, some oil in there, right? We have some oil, absolutely. And uh, I'm pretty sure that Richard would definitely be very, very happy to know that we've put that oil in that pan, especially for Gemma. That's right. Gemma, that oil in that pan is for you. And Richard misses you dearly. He wants to uh, see you, but unfortunately, we're in quarantine. So sorry about that. Quasa. 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 We, we hope you're good wherever you are in quarantine and being good and being, you know, taking care of yourself. Mm. So this, as I'm putting this into the pan, oh, we might want to refocus on the yeah. pan maybe. Yeah, oh, my bad. Okay. okay. Um, this... Guys, I'm trying to get used to this little box here, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to bear with me, right? One sec. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is our first week live broadcasting from our house. This is going in this pan. So in here we have carrot, celery and onion, which is it's referred to in Italian cooking as soffritto. It's referred to in French cooking as mirepoix. I hope that accent is all right. Ah, there we go. Have I got that camera right there? That's yeah, that'll do. Not too bad, not too yeah. bad. And also in uh, Louisiana, like kind of um, Creole cooking, they call it the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. Do you know what? If you want to know about Holy Trinity, go and check out Bish Bash Bosh, our second cookbook, because the Holy Trinity gumbo is in there and it is one of our best recipes to date. Another good thing that you can do with this is add a little bit of salt to eke out the moisture. Okay, deal, salt going in. So I'm gonna let that soften for about five minutes and meanwhile, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as we just did with our mushrooms. Henry, uh, you know, I think you've got a fan because Kat has just told me that someone has just told her that that trick, Liv has just told Kat that that trick of, um, of, of whizzing everything up in a blender is a good trick. So well done, you've got a friend for life there. Okay. Hours and hours saved. Good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it's such a good trick. And, and you know, it does feel a bit lazy, but it just works. So that's that one. I'm going to go over. So, meanwhile, I am going to blitz these mushrooms. Look, he's doing it. He's blitzing. There's a blitz. Look, can you see it? Yeah, there we are. Right. It's kind of done now, to be honest. Oh, well, look at Oh my god, we should have had like another camera. We need like, even five cameras. Yeah. Four is not enough. Oh look, it's MJ. Hey MJ. Are you doing a blitz dance? We're live. Oh, we didn't do a blitz dance. No. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to pop them in yet, but if you just have a peek here, you can see. So this is our mushroom mince. This is basically going to take the place of mince in our cooking. We like mushrooms, they've got that earthy taste. They do taste kind of meaty and they really take on flavour. So. They're gonna form mints in this chili. Uh, do you know what? It smells amazing in here. Doesn't the, it? Um, yeah, this shepherd's potato is a thing of beauty and it's a thing of complete and total deliciousness. 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 Now, what have you got there, ma'am? Well, I've got some herbs and um, yeah, I should have put them in the blender as well. Oh well. But I didn't, so I'm gonna just chop them. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm gonna just keep an eye on this, make sure this pan is kind of not burning. I want everything in here to soften. Mm -hmm. If you're cooking along at home, you should have your potatoes in there already, and you should have your herbs out, and hopefully you've got your food processor out. If you are cooking along, let us know. We'd really like to know that, wouldn't we? Ian? Yeah, we absolutely would. We're doing this for you. It's obviously a work in progress. We're, we're trying to learn as we go along, and we're bringing you guys on the journey with us. So if you've got any tips, tricks, or any recipes you want to see, let us know in the comments below. Should we bring MJ in to say hello? Yeah. This is MJ, she's our housemate, my fiance. This is the camera. Say hey, this is the camera, this is everyone at home. Yeah. Guys, it's Henry's birthday tomorrow, so give him, send him as many messages as you can, pop it all over your stories. Oh, that's nice, thank oh. you. Very nice. All right, we'll have food yeah. ready for you in about 20 that's minutes. That's the food. I better get wrapping your presents then. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, so now what I've done is I've just ripped off those rosemary leaves. Let's see that from the top cam, main shot. Oh, there we go. I've got some thyme here as well. And I kind of got rid of the twigs, but I'm also not that bothered because I'm just gonna chop everything so small that you're not gonna taste it. That is really good. Oh man, I can I can hear a bubbling, fizzing pan, so I'm gonna go and give it a quick stir. Yeah, yeah. I have got that on high to get a quick softening. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know what? Now would be a perfect time to whiz in these mushrooms. Right, here we go. We are popping in our mushrooms. Oh. They have been minced, and the idea with these mushrooms Okay, okay. Are you right yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, being talked to. Yeah, um, basically, so funny, uh, I've just been talked to because Henry's mother is in the comments wishing him a very happy birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we are. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, Mummy. Thank you, Jane. Um, anyway, so like I was saying before just then, uh, we're using blitzed mushrooms in the f uh, to, to replace beef mince because what we're trying to do here is make, um, it's like the filling of a shepherd's pie in the top of a jacket potato. It's mental, but it is delicious. <laughs> So now I'm mixing these mushrooms through that softened Holy Trinity. And these mushrooms, as you'll see, they're gonna need about five minutes for all of the moisture to dissipate. So we just want that liquid that is contained within the mushroom to get out of our dish. So we're left with a kind of dry, meaty mushroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dry, meaty mushroom that has a really wonderful texture and a really, really nice mouthfeel. The sort of thing that you'll be able to, um, like, like we said before, replace meat with beautifully. Now, time is is not on our side. We have, uh, it's now 11, 11 minutes past six. We're we on. Loads of time. Yeah. We've got 20 minutes. But I'm what just, are you uh, stressing for, dude? Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm just trying to get this, uh, this, this, this Don't stirring. you worry, mate. We're good. Yeah. Right, so we have got our herbs there. If you noticed what I was doing, hand on top of the knife and just quickly hitting that knife down, kind of in a saw action. The knife actually never leaves the board. And that gives us our herbs nicely chopped, super fine. And now Ooh. they're just gonna go in there, along with a pinch of salt and pepper. Perfect, that looks amazing. It smells amazing. And uh, the flavor doesn't stop there. Oh no, there Ooh. is a lot more flavor oh. just waiting in the wings to get into that pan. It's gonna be so good. incredible. Okay, now we could, leave that to evaporate for another five minutes or so, but I'm just gonna, you know, whiz on through this. So the next stage is we're gonna add all of our liquidy ingredients. First up, we have some tomato puree. Mm -hmm. That's gonna add a lovely brick red color. Yeah. And some acidity, and it's gonna really kind of add the richness to this dish. And when it comes to mushrooms, you don't just have to use chestnut or button, you can use any mushroom because they're getting minced up in the blender. Next up, we're going to go in with some whole grain mustard. That's going to give us that kind of pepperiness, a little bit of anger in this dish, which is always good. Soy sauce is our friend. When you're cooking vegan or plant-based food, soy sauce is a great way to get that kind of dark, meaty, umami flavor into any dish. Another good way to do that is with vegan Worcester sauce. There's a brand called Henderson's Relish that we really like. Now, to complement those mushrooms and add us a bit more bite, I'm going to go in with some pre-cooked poi lentils. Absolutely great for protein. Abs just absolutely wonderful, really. Yeah, they're so good. And now we have some vegetable stock. That's right. That stock is going in there, and now it is all about the sim simmer, isn't it? Simmer, mate. It's time to simmer. Sim simmer. This is the good time, right? Sim simmer, who's got the keys to my <laughs> dinner? Well, currently, Henry. <laughs> To your dinner? Yeah, exactly. Have you got a bimmer? Yeah, no, I haven't got a bimmer. No, we don't have a bimmer, sadly. But they're not mm. good for the environment anyway. We, if anything, we would have a Tesla. Mm. Well, listen, right, guys. So apparently, I've just been told by producer Cat in my ear that there's quite a fair few of you in there. So thank you all for joining us. If any of you have any questions, feel free to sling them over. We are here for your pleasure. Yeah, and um, good point. Um, we're going to do a Q&A. The plan is to do a Q&A. So the, qu the only question is, when will we do that? When are we gonna do the Q&A? I suppose that is up to you. Um, but yeah, any questions right now and we'll, we'll gladly take them from you. This, right, looks so good, doesn't it? It smells amazing, it's really, really nice. It Ooh. could probably do just simmer away now for a bit. Yeah, I mean, if you think about the story of what's gone into this dish, right? We've got all of those herbs, we've got the rosemary, we've got the thyme, we've got the garlic. That's all kind of enveloped in that tomato flavor and that veg stock. There's the mushrooms, there's the lentils. Mm. So much goodness in that pan. And what that's gonna do is that'll just simmer away over 10, 15 minutes yep. to something which looks a little more like this. 
Mm -hmm. And as you can see right there, it's it's kind of thickened. Um, it it looks has. really, really ragu-y. I mean, you could easily just put uh, pasta through that, right? And it would be perfect. I mean, we are basically in the world of chili. Yeah. But it's not a chili. We are making a shepherd's potato. So without further ado, let's bring on to the stage the potato. Shepherd's potato. All right, come on. <laughs> we need to get, get that drum roll going because, like, the main event is coming. Oh, it's warm in here, but don't worry, I've got um, asbestos hands apparently. So uh, quick! Good. Get it on right, here. There we go, I'm going to pop that there, and then you guys need to see it as well. So what I'm going to do Ooh. is move that cami, I'm going to move that cami live so you can see what's going on. Boomer, there we are. That is looking pretty Potato nice. cam. Potato cam. That is now 100% potato cam. Lovely. Boom. Right. Okay, but meanwhile, that pan is going over here, and I'll bring those potatoes back over with my bare hands, they're not too hot, no. So the plan here, and this is a Bosch original invention. No one's ever done this before, have they, Ian? Well, I should hope a few people have done it since we wrote the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we invented it, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are going to construct a little uh, hat on this potato. So nice, easy knife technique. Look at this, this is exciting stuff, isn't it? Oh my days, I'm gonna go top cam. You yeah, better top move cam. that head. I watch check, that head. check, check this out, check this out. I get joy. So if Charlie, our videographer, is watching, this is the prime time for drone cam. But unfortunately we don't have drone cam. Soon coming! Actually, I have a bit of inside information on oh, Charlie, our videographer. <laughs> he's actually uh, cooking this right now. Is he? Yeah. So he's on, cooking Charlie. along with us, good lad. Or at least he's cooking behind us. Yeah. Um, and if you're cooking along with us too, absolute massive love to you and if not but you're going to cook it later love to you too let us know in the comments what you're doing Henry, explain to the people then what exactly right. is going on right now so i am just circling this potato with my knife to take off the top so nice. as you can see now we're just going to lift away the top of that potato there we go look at that show the camera that that that, that, that nice fluffy white white Oh my god, the fluffy Lo white one. Oh, the fluffy white white. <laughs> is that what it's Got to love a bit of fluffy white white. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this one, I am doing the same thing over here. Right, here we go, very we good. Go. And what you can see is, have I got a spoon? Yeah, I got a spoon, yeah. um, one sec. I'm gonna create a little hole in this potato with my knife. But I don't want to go all the way to the skin, because we're not like carving it out. This isn't potato, like loaded potato skins. We want some potato in there. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in there around, make sure we've still got some potato flesh between my knife and the potato skin. I'm just going to scoop out. Whoop. Very good. There's a hole there. Perfect. That's yes. hole, isn't it? That's the one. This goes in here. Good work. And the same thing with this little beauty. Now, these potatoes are ripe for a hat, if you ask me. They're looking good. I'm also just going to get a little bit. We had a bit of potato left over here. That's it, waste not, want not. You exactly. better, like, all that potato you is can so eat good. That if you want. Yeah, that's it. Potato skin's definitely Chuck, got some look, look, everything, value. Everything <laughs> is not going to waste. Exactly. Mm. And if you are freestyling at home, you know, because it is quarantine, it is hard to come by ingredients, we get you. We know it's annoying. Mm -hmm. You can absolutely tweak what is in this kind of ragu. You don't need the lentils, you don't need the mushrooms. Just as long as you've got a kind of liquidy base, you'll be fine. And what's going on there? So, I if we put it on the board. Oh, yeah, nice. on the board. Cool. So right now I am mashing that little bit of potato. Oh, hang, hang on, hang, hang on, on, on a minute. On, you, on. I know what you want to do here. Right, okay, the, Henry, show the people what on earth you have in your hand here. They don't care. Look, <laughs> look, 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 you see that? Look what it says there. Bush. We're on the butter. We're on the bloody butter. I mean, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but anyway, we are going to use our own product. I'm going to add a little bit of that to this potato, mm -hmm. and then just mashy, mashy, mashy. And because we're vegan, I'm putting in some nutritional yeast. Nooch for the win! I'm not an idiot! <laughs> Nooch is going in to give it that cheesy, nutty flavour, a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're just going to mash it up. Alright, and if you move your head, here we go, look at this. Show the, cam show the top cam, let's have a look at that now. Oh, that is good. That is looking really good. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, man. 100%. So keep mashing. If you feel like it wants a little bit more liquidiness, you could always go in with a little bit of extra dairy-free butter. You could, of course, use olive oil as well. That would work absolutely great in here. That would. It's always better to start with less um, and not overdo it, because you don't want to end up something with some kind of really liquidy and too peppery. 
Oh, cool. So just uh, taste and adjust as you go. That is looking good. So uh, if you're wondering what Henry's doing here, he's mashing the potato because what that's going to do is form a little hat. A little hat. A little hat. This is a silly recipe. We told you already, it's silly, it's fun, it's the kind of thing you make with kids. Yeah, so if you have kids um, and you want to inspire them to get into the kitchen, the best thing to do with them is to cook exciting, fun food, and this is exactly that. So, we are now ready to load up our shepherd's potatoes. So I better move the camera. Boom. <laughs> this there is an exciting place to be. So I'm going to take some of that ragu, which simmered and thickened, I'm going to pop it, I'm just going to pop it inside that potato. Perfect. We want it proud and over the top. So we want it to be <laughs> protruding just a little bit. That is looking good, that is looking great. Look at that. If you get a bit messy, that's fine. This is rustic, it's supposed to look like it's spilling over the top. Yeah man. That's what we're aiming for. That is looking so, so, a so, so good. Down. And is... then potato number two. And then we grab that and stick it back in. Oh my goodness gracious me. Like, the basically, you know, if you're having a shepherd's potato, you might as well stuff it full. <laughs> stuff it full so you don't go hungry. Well, I mean, I've got all of this here, yeah. so, you know, it's we're perfect. not gonna leave it, are we? No, absolutely not. Okay, there we go. That is nice and proud. Good. A bit on the side there. He's already got a bit of a hat, but this hat is a ragu hat. Yeah. And we want to give him a top potato hat. This is it. Now, this is the fun part. This is, now you'll see what we were doing with that mashed potato. You are going to think this is silly, I promise. Mm -hmm. uh, your kids are going to love it if you have kids. Or if you just know people with the mind of a kid. I feel like we have the mind of a kid. <laughs> so, uh, we love this recipe. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at that. It is so good. Like, the taller the better. Look at yeah. how, <laughs> that is amazing. He's got a top hat on, I mean, I'm loving that, that is so good. Tatties with hatties, and we're just gonna balance, kind of get your fingers and a spoon and just balance a little potato hat yeah, on mate. top of the potato and the ragu. Perfect. I'll get a that, bit more on there. How good does that look, really? Even I mean, higher. that just looks amazing. Doesn't it? It looks incredible. Yeah. Naughty, incredible, a little bit silly, like the best cooking should be. We don't take ourselves too seriously, do we? No, absolutely not. You no. can't take yourself too seriously. Look at how good, like, can we just all just take a moment to appreciate exactly how good that looks. I'm gonna to go top cam as well. Boomer, bang, bang, bang. Amazing. These little beauties are gonna get a little finish off in the oven. Yeah. Just to help them brown. So we kind of want a little brown bit on top. Right, and here we go. If you wouldn't mind. A nice one. So this is going into the oven now, 180 degrees for 10 minutes just to crisp up the top. Woo, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. And, well, you, should, we, should we eat the original? I mean, you were worried about time. We had no <laughs> time. I was, I, to be fair, I was very worried about time. So what we're gonna do now is, yeah, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tuck into that potato. We're gonna talk you through the eating because Basically, it's ready. So if you've got any questions, then please feel free to drop them below and producer cat will chat to us in our ear and we will answer them, won't we, Henry? We will. And you never know, we might get joined by our housemates to come and give us their thoughts on this food. Yes. But it depends. I mean, we finished a bit early today. Say again? We finished a bit early. You yeah, know? We've, finished, was, we've got eight minutes to spare. We have flown through that. And if yeah. you're wondering where we're both from, which someone is, we are from Sheffield. Sheffield in yeah. South Yorkshire. Um, also, there's another man who's about to walk into the room who isn't from Sheffield, South Yorkshire, but he's honorary still city man. This is Bodyweight D, Body AKA D. Darren, in the place to be. He's our housemate. He trains with us, he works with us, he hangs out with us. Most importantly, he eats with us. And yes. I'm from South London. Yeah. South, I'm proud. South, South London! South London. Yes. I'm proud. You know, it's how we all got a bit cooler then. <laughs> yeah. So check it out. Look at what that. do you reckon? Mate, I'm gonna give you straight away a nine for creativity. Oh, that's it. Nine, nine yeah. points out of ten. Yeah, I could do that. This isn't. If I had a kid, I think um, this is something I'd be doing with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely not with uh, my kid, the yeah. dog. Only. You have a dog. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have a, a whippet. Yeah. Um, yeah, he would. If he was here, he would be. He'd be going to get to this now. He would want some. Of course, he would. Yeah. Imagine if we had a boss dog. It would be oh, cool, wouldn't it? Be cool. Should we get a bush dog? Oh, oh, yeah. Let's not talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have one fork here, luckily. Yep. Although it does have butter on it. Dairy free, of course. Dairy free butter. Let's cleanse that bad boy. 
and we'll go in mm -hmm. for a little tasting right, I think bit this is for Darren. High, high, high time that we change the camera angle for that inner shot. I'm going to go top cam as well. Look at oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Perfect. Look at the state of that. There Look is. at that. <laughs> Amazing. That is the badger. Look, you can see <laughs> potato on the outside. It's a crispy jacket. We've got that lovely ragu in the middle, and we've got a little potato hat. Oh my god. Uh, uh, before you do that, I'm just gonna, I might have to just take a little photograph and we'll put this on Instagram later. Sounds good. There we go. <laughs> Very good. Right. So, Instagram photo is being sorted out. So, yeah, you'll see that on Bosch.tv Instagram in a minute, yeah? Now, Darren, there's a bit for you, but I feel like it's a bit stingy. So, I'm gonna top you up with a little more ragu. How big is your mouth? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, that is a good question. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, get involved. I can definitely get stuck into this. See what you can this. do. 100%. Um, he says. Mm -hmm. well, get in there, mate. Uh, just, just dig in. Here you go, E. Oh, yeah, yeah thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, if you're wondering why I called Ian E, mm -hmm. it's uh, short for Ian. Because Ian wasn't short enough. Mm. We felt <laughs> like it needed to be shorter. Mm. E. It worked. I'm hey, Henry, a.k.a. <laughs> and, um... This is Bodyweight D, at Bodyweight D on Instagram. And if you're wondering where this recipe is, you can find it on Bosch.tv and also in our cookbook Bosch. So, so I've been out of 10. Before I get to that, I've been looking forward to this all afternoon because I may have had a cheeky little mm. taste earlier mm. of the ragu. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, I knew what was coming. And uh, <laughs> it is delicious. Mm. Guys, I can't give you anything less than 8.5. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, what in a tent? There's nothing less than that. No, you didn't no, say no, that. I didn't say that. That was my score. Oh, I'm just less than 8.5. What was yesterday? Did we get yesterday 9, was it? Or was it 8.5? I can't remember. I can't remember. It might have been 9. I think it was 8.5, then it went 9.5. Or 9? 9. 9. Yeah. So today, I'm going to go with another 9. Oh, right. Um, so can, can we just one one more time? Just just look. Just just get this in all of its wonderful, incredible, remarkable glory. Is that, is that uh, focus? Uh, no, it's not going to focus. Uh, uh, but like, uh, right? Yeah, it is. Do, uh, do you know what? Right. Okay. I mean, do, some more. Do, like do, do you know what? Do you know what this looks like? I what? think. I think this looks like a savoury iced gem. Yeah. <laughs> Remember ice Remember gems? Ice gems. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> Do they still do ice gems? I don't know, but they're they're just, okay. <laughs> ice gems, they are you still yeah. going? And are you vegan? Can, if so, I send can, us some. I can see where you're going with that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I think that's incredible. So we're enjoying this, and guys, if you've got any questions, please let them let us know below, because Kat will talk to me in this ear and this ear, and we'll answer them for you right now. Thank you very much, Darren. No problem. We will Thank have you. yours ready for you in five minutes. So if you can wait till then, yes, we'll be course. ready. Um, but, I mean, I just had a taste. like. Honestly, that ragu mm -hmm. is so rich. It's so rich. Especially if you let it simmer for like 15, 20 minutes or so. It's gonna develop. It's got that kind of the soy sauce, the power. Mm. It's got that little kick of the mustard. And of course you've got the mushrooms and the, the mushrooms. lentils, the rosemary, the thyme, the garlic, the onion, the celery, all those herbs. It's absolutely perfect. And it's good that you mentioned mushrooms just then because we've had a wicked question coming. Oh yeah? Somebody has just asked us where we get king oyster mushrooms from. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, there is a few answers to that question. Mm. Like, if you want to go straight direct to the source, there's a company in Liverpool called Smithies, right? They're the ones that like supply all the big supermarkets. But we usually just go to Tesco because our mate Derek, Derek Sarno has got them in there and we can get them from Marks and Spencer as well. Yeah, in a way, we all get our King Oyster Mushrooms from Derek Sarno. Yeah. He's like the, the godfather of King Oyster Mushrooms. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hunt him down as well. Right, and obviously we're in London right now. Yeah. What would you say your favourite vegan restaurant is in London? I would say Biff's Jack Shack. Ooh, They've got one in Brewdog in Dawson. It's kind of more of a eating bar than a restaurant. But there is street food place as well. So yeah, we like Brewdog, and you might see why we like Brewdog in the not too distant future. We won't say anything else about that. Oh, but yeah. one thing we will say is that I like Club Bexicana. Oh man, they're so good too. Yeah. And Club Mexicana, they've got the pub, the Spread Eagle in East London, which yeah. is, oh, it's incredible. The fish tacos. Oh, they are next level. We actually had Mariel on our TV show, Living on the Veg. So if you saw that, I think it was episode eight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you didn't, I think you can still go and check it out, ITV Hub. Now apparently it's gonna be quite sunny here in London this weekend. And because it's Henry's birthday, I think we're hoping to host some kind of little cookie thing at the top. 
So the question I uh, have, have sort of segued into just then yes. is what would you recommend for vegan barbecues? Vegan barbecue, okay, I love this question. First of all, if you can get them, I would say the Beyond Burger is an incredible option because it will just teach any meat eater just how flexible vegan food can be and how, how, how kind of meaty things can taste now. So ridiculous, like they're amazing. You can get great vegan cheese, you can make some lovely balsamic onions and some bit of salad, Beyond Burgers, yeah. my vote every time. But we also have in our cookbooks, we've got some incredible veggie kebabs, three ways in Bosch book number one. Mm -hmm. We've got some amazing like salads and accoutrements as well, because those bad boys are really important as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully that gives you some options to choose from. And you know what? I think we've had the most logical question just come into my ear for the final question of this round. That. And the question is, why did we call that a shepherd's potato? You should answer that question. Well, like we said at the beginning of this live stream, we initially thought we should call this a tatty with a hattie, or a hatty tatty. Why? Because it's a tatty, a potato, with a hattie, a hat, a hat of potato. But then we thought, no one's gonna know what a hatty tatty is, so we were like, what actually is this? And we decided that the filling is a shepherd's pie filling and it's wrapped up in potato, so a shepherd's potato. Makes perfect sense. Have you enjoyed it? Genius. So much fun. This has been great. Let us know what your thoughts have been. We hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you're not already like liking or subscribing, please do. We're going to be doing this more all the way through April. Have you enjoyed it? I've, I've had a rip-roaring time. It's been <laughs> wonderful. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to enjoy tomorrow just as much because tomorrow we're going to be going live but we're gonna be doing beers with Bosch. Yeah, tomorrow is gonna to be a lot of fun. So come hang out with us tomorrow. Same time, same place, uh, probably. Yeah. We'll let you know for sure. Yep. We are having some tech, tech technical quandaries. Yep. So we'll let you know. See you tomorrow. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Bish, bash, Bosch! Woo! And now I'll do that awkward dance. Yeah, you have to chat to yourself now. Dun, 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 d